Why they use broomsticks to fly in the Harry Potter universe may seem obvious. They're wizards and witches. But like with most things, JK actually has an explanation for their use and has shared the early rough history of them. And by rough, I mean painful. So we know wizards and witches use broomsticks in the Harry Potter universe to fly. Which appears pretty badass, until we try to replicate it in our own world without the use of movie magic, and it just looks... off. But why do wizards and witches use broomsticks to fly in this universe? Why didn't they pick something more comfy, like flying on pillows or an armchair? Well, there's actually a special reason. So by the time of the book slash movies, every magical household has at least one broomstick, which is a legally allowed mode of transportation in the magical community. But it wasn't always that way. They didn't always use broomsticks to fly, which actually caused some issues. With no spells that allowed a wizard or witch to fly in their human form, minus a few well-known wizards in modern time, it made flying difficult. I mean, they could use levitation to float five feet from the ground, but that's not really flying. Before broomsticks, and even after, a way to fly was to transform into a winged creature. But there were drawbacks to that. One, that ability was really rare. And even if you transformed into a bird or something, you'd then have a bird brain, which meant you may transform and not exactly remember why you chose to do so. Or maybe you'd be super into worms. Look, I, I, I don't know, okay? Just just agree with me, it would cause some problems. After some time, those in the magical community wanted to be able to fly, and fly without transforming into something that might not actually get them to the destination they wanted to end up at. But the problem was whatever they used to fly needed to be discreet. See, even before they had rules about keeping their existence a secret from muggles, they weren't too keen on no is knowing about their abilities. They were worried about exploitation, which let's be honest, human beings are kind of POSs and it, it would absolutely happen. Which is how the broom came to be selected. They wanted to use a common household item that wouldn't look suspicious. Something so common it wouldn't require explanations if found. Not only that, but brooms were easy to transport, easy to hide, and rather inexpensive. Well, if you don't want a top-end broom, which there was none of that at the beginning. But there is a quote on them using brooms to fly and how they weren't as sneaky as they thought they were. A wizard commented on the use of broomsticks, writing, As every school-age wizard knows, the fact we fly on broomsticks is probably our worst kept secret. No muggle illustration of a witch is complete without a broom, and however ludicrous these drawings are, for none of the broomsticks depicted by muggles would stay up in the air for a moment, they remind us that we were careless for far too many centuries to be surprised that brooms sticks and magic are linked in the muggle mind. So maybe they weren't that good at being secretive, but later on they would start to use disillusionment charms which would hide them <laughs> riding on broomsticks. So they got better. Now that doesn't mean brooms, once selected to be a means of flying and transportation, were without their issues. When they were first used, and records show they were used in Europe as early as 962 AD, they had some major flaws. First, we know a German manuscript around this time showed three warlocks getting off a broomstick looking super uncomfortable. And a Scottish wizard in 1107 once remarked that he suffered from a splinter-filled buttocks and bulging piles after a flight. Just ow. So yeah, drawbacks. You see early broomsticks were designed with thick, knotty handles made of unvarnished ash and hazel twigs bound crudely together. So not really comfortable to sit on or probably handle. It is reported these early broomsticks were also not aerodynamic, and the charms placed on brooms were also basic. They could only move forwards at one speed, and they could go down, up, and stop, but that was about it. So yeah, in the beginning, not a lot of options. But not only that, since most families made their own broomsticks, brooms varied greatly in speed, comfort, and even how they handled while flying. Thankfully, this changed by the 12th century when wizards and witches learned to leave the broomstick making and charming to skilled individuals who would then sell or trade their work. 
And thankfully over the years, broomsticks got a hell of a lot more comfortable and wizards and witches started to use them for pleasure and just not to get from point A to point B. This was largely helped by mass production of brooms and by the cushioning charm invented in 1820. Mass production and the creation of racing brooms helped not only with obtaining higher speeds, but also better control at higher altitudes. So that is the exciting reason why they use broomsticks to fly in the Harry Potter universe. And it's a very rough start. How many brooms do you have in your house? I think I have two. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and come back for more videos.